talk about the most answered question, which is, do clutch kits, ECU tunes, or any kind of modifications in such matters, such tires and belts and all kinds of stuff, do they void warranty? But before I answer that question directly, I want to talk about ECU tunes, clutch kit, and all that stuff, and what the benefits are and what the negatives are to better understand you whether it's worth it or not. And I'll explain how and why it may or may not void your warranty in specific situations. A lot of you are buying clutch kits, primaries, secondary kits, ECU tunes, ECU flash devices, which you can find this at monsterfuelinjection.com. This you can plug and play into your side by side and put a tune on it, put your stock tune back on it. You can get extra ECUs and have them reprogrammed. There is a ton of ways to modify your machine and make it the way that you want. Let's first go over what an ECU tune is and what the benefits are by having one. I personally have one. It's from Ray Parker, ATVTuning.com. Uh, I'll have a link down below is where you can get it. I've been running his tune for three years now. I have not had a single engine failure. Um, ATV tunes, they can lower your radiator temps, kick your fans on earlier. They can add a few horsepower in my case. We have a horsepower gain just from the tune alone, not counting the exhaust and the intake. Just from the tune alone, we gain three horsepower. You get a little bit worse fuel economy because they do richen it up, so it makes the engine run cooler, run smoother, run the way that it should run, not the way that the government wants it to run. You can get advanced ignition timing. You can get retarded ignition timing. And that all depends upon what you plan on doing. If you're running a turbo, you might want retarded timing. If you're uh, running higher octane, you might want advanced timing. And you can play with an ECU to get it to perform very well. In these machines, I highly doubt you'll see much more than three or four horsepower gain with just a tune alone. Mind you, whenever you have a tune done, adding an exhaust or an intake or a uni air filter, you have to have it retuned because that tune was done for a stock machine with a stock exhaust, stock air filter, stock intake, stock head, stock cam. Anytime you make changes to an engine, you have to have it retuned. And that also includes clutch kits. If you tune your engine, your ECU, to a stock clutch kit but then you change the clutch kit it's going to change your engine tuning just a little bit it may or may not be noticeable but it's going to change regardless is it going to hurt performance and most chances no but it's still the realm of things and how it works you have to have it retuned for every little change that you do so buying an off-the-shelf tune and then adding an exhaust and all that stuff, it kind of changes it. You should be buying a tune that's tuned for an exhaust. The most common things are an exhaust and a uni air filter. A uni air filter changes the airflow all by itself to need to have your engine tuned. Now guys, what I'm telling you here is not critical. It's not like your engine's going to blow up if you get a tune and then put an exhaust on it. Chances that have happening are slim to none. Um, so I'm just telling you the real world effects of how things work. Now, clutch kits. The benefits of having a clutch kit. You get more power to the ground, a little bit better than a stock clutch kit. A stock clutch kit is designed for a good overall round of use of the machine. But it's not designed for good performance. It's good for, it's designed for good performance in like every realm of applications, but it's not good for, let's say hill climbing. It, you might find the engine bogs a little bit. So you want a clutch kit to tune your engine 
So you get higher RPMs through that climb and you get no bog. So a primary clutch kit can help you, but it also can hurt you in some other aspects. So let's say that you ride trails and you're a moderate trail rider. You might climb a hill or two here and there. You might hit a mud hole or two here and there, but you ride a lot of roads and you want to be able to do 50, 60 miles an hour. When changing your clutch kit, you could hurt your mile an hour performance and raise your RPM up. So when you're doing 50, 60 mile an hour, my, my machine particularly, it's at 50 mile an hour, it's right around 55, 5,800 RPM, which is fine. It's higher than stock, but it's fine. Depending upon your clutch kit, it could be upwards to 6,800, 7,000 RPM. And that's not really ideal, but if you don't ride the roads and you do a lot of trail riding, then it doesn't matter because your RPMs aren't gonna be that high and they're gonna be where you need them in the power band for the trails. Me personally, I have mine tuned for the best of my riding, which is on road and off road, both. So when I'm doing 50, 60 mile an hour, it's not singing too much. It's singing a little, but not too much. It's right perfect. The power is perfect and all that. Let's talk about the downsides of doing this thing. Having a clutch kit can void your engine warranty. Having a ECU tune can void your engine warranty. Yes, the answer is yes, yes, yes. It can, it will, but there is buts, there is catches. And I speak for US only. I don't know what it's like in Canada or anything. Say you do a clutch kit and then you have an engine failure. You take it in, you tell your warranty, you tell your dealer that you put a clutch kit in. Never give up information that is not asked for. Don't freely give it up because it does depend upon the dealer whether they want to have your back or not um, or whatnot. That's a total different ball game. But let's say you did a clutch kit and then you, um, I don't know, the timing chain broke in your engine. The warranty company can deny your claim because you did uh, engine modifications. However, in order for them to deny that claim, they have to prove that the clutch kit actually caused the damage to that timing chain. And guys, clutch kits, when done correctly, they're not gonna cause any uh, engine damage. Usually what causes engine damage is premature wear or somebody just beating the crap out of it or neglect from not servicing it or too high in RPMs for far too long. It's common sense type thing. And that same concept actually goes for the ECU tune. Whenever you tune your ECU, you have something go wrong with your engine. They can deny the claim if they know that your ECU is tuned but they have to prove that the tune, because there's no law that says you can't modify your machine, they have to prove that the tune is what screwed up the engine. And yes, guys, I have seen bad tunes screw up engines. It's hit and miss, it really is. Um, that's just mostly people that didn't know what they were doing, screwing up engines with, with bad tunes. Um, I haven't seen a bad tune in a long time. What well, I have, but we'll not talk about that. Um, so, but let's say for the rest of the machine, by adding snorkels and stuff like that, you're actually helping the, helping the engine last longer because you know it's not gonna ingest water. Having an exhaust, it's gonna help it run a little bit cooler, a little bit meaner. Um, it's gonna be able to breathe and relax a little bit and just pump up them RPMs, pump out that horsepower. But let's say you did you did an ECU tune and a clutch kit and you blow a shock. Is warranty gonna deny your claim for a shock? Yes or no? Maybe. It depends upon how your shock broke. Did you hit something? Did you bend it? Did you snap it? They're gonna look at these things and they're gonna say, oh, this guy hit something with this shock. We're not, we're not warranting it. Or they might go, well, oh, this guy hit something, we'll warranty it anyway. I have had that happen. I have seen that happen. But I will say, CF Moto is very good at taking care of their warranty folks. So I hope that answers your question. This is the ultimate 
asked question, <laughs> does it hurt your warranty? And the answer is yes. Yes, it can. Yes, it will. Depending upon your dealer, can they get it pushed through? Yes. Can you fight them if you truly think that your mods didn't do the damage? Absolutely. Use one of these and flash your ECU back to stock before you take it in for any warranty work. You can put your stock clutch kit back in before you take it in for warranty work. You can put your stock exhaust back on before you take it in for warranty work. Keep all your stock parts, guys. Put them back on if you need to. I want to tell you, when CF Moto warrantied my diff, I had dual exhaust on here. I had ECU tune on here. I had this thing modded out pretty good. I even had a clutch kit in there and they still warrant. So just use your thinking nugget and play it safe. But all right guys, that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed this informational tidbit. And I would like to invite you to become a channel member or hit the like button, the share button, share this video on all of your CF Moto groups that you're part of. Share, share, share. Let's get the information out there for folks so they know what they're getting into. But guys, I do not want this to be a discouraged video on not to buy this stuff. It is totally worth buying. <laughs> so don't be discouraged. Just be smart about it, okay? Share, share, share this video as much as you can. Become a, a subscriber, if you will, and leave me a comment down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out and God bless.